It's Sunday, March the 20th, I think. Um, lovely to be retired and not know exactly what the date is. Um, hope everybody is well. My name is Karen and I'm the hostess of Recreational Knitting. Thanks for coming back. Those of you that came back after that dreadful first um, episode, if that's what you want to call it. Um, we're going to try this a little differently. Um, I'm learning as I go. Um, the reason that I wanted to do a podcast was to hold myself accountable in many ways. Um, I buy a lot of yarn and being in an RV, there's not a lot of storage. So when significant other opens up a cabinet and a couple skeins of yarn fall out, I don't get happy looks. So I wanted to hold myself accountable more than anything. I think I have a little bit to share knowledge wise, but I also wanted to share what it's like to travel and be a knitter. You get to go to a lot of knitting shops, unless it's COVID. That was a bummer. I missed Jimmy Beans when we were in Reno, and I still haven't gotten over that. They've now moved to a different store, but I'm not in Nevada. <sighs> I have gotten to a few stores, which is great, but that's why I wanted to share with you um, my adventures, my adventures in knitting, my adventures in travel, uh, just life on the road and how different a lifestyle that is. Okay, welcome back. I have some finished objects. I know a lot of people call them finished objects. I call it in the can. Uh, my husband was in the uh, TV industry for a while, so we call it in the can. It's finished. I'm wearing one today. I think I showed this to you last time. It's a sweater, just a simple raglan. I tend to look best in raglan. Um, I feel best in raglan. They fit me good. Um, only two cuffs, though, although it felt like there was about 17 of them. I hate ribbing. Um, just mindless stockinette. I'm good. But this is made with, and let me get the tag here. Here's two of the skeins. This is made with hemp and cotton and bamboo. I got this at Loop Store when we were in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was, this, this color is called Daylily, and this was $17.99 for, let's see, does it say? Yeah, 328 yards. So that's really not a bad um, price for that suggested uh, gauge is six sticks, six stitches to an inch on four to five US needles. I really like it. It's nice. I don't know how it's going to wear. Um, today is a little bit chilly here in Tucson. Um, and we, I put a long sleeved, um, t-shirt on this morning and, I, and that really wasn't enough. So I thought, well, I'll wear this for the podcast and we'll go from there. It's got, I've got, I did stripes here and of course on the sleeves. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I might have liked short sleeves instead, uh, given the fabric. Um, and I still might rip it out and do it again, um, the sleeves. Although once you get a sleeve done, don't you want to just leave it alone? I do. So that's one finished object. Let me get two more.
of course, there at the bottom. The next two um, finished objects are from the designer Casapanka. I had never um, done anything from her before. But I kind of had all this like sock yarn that I'm thinking, what am I gonna do with this stuff? Shawls, I've made so many shawls and you'll get to see them eventually while we've been out on this trip. Um, but I had this one yarn that was given to me. It was yellow, um, it was variegated and it had cashmere in it. So I wasn't gonna use it for socks. I had to use it for a shawl. So I started looking around and I saw that Casapinka had a knit along. And this is the shawl. And of course I can't remember what the name of it is. It stands for 15 in Spanish. Here we go, there's that yellow. And then the last stripe is the yellow. I'm not a fan of yellow, but this is okay. I think I might give this to my daughter. She wears a lot of black. She's a music teacher in Baltimore City but I think it's kind of nice. Um, it feels really good. This is Madeline Tosh sock, as is this. And this, I can't remember, <laughs> but it was given to me. It was um, handmade, handmade? Yeah, I think that was it. Um, handmade in fibers, I believe that was it. And it's beautiful. It's just yellow is not my color. So that's my second in the can project. Casapinka is a designer. She has a lot of really beautiful things. She does a lot of things with texture. And I'll talk about, I'm gonna be, begin a sweater um, by her soon, again. Third finished object. I had cast this on last week. This is the Ripples Make Waves and it's by Casapinka. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's, uh, she designed it to hopefully get her knitters to um, donate to a worthy cause. And I had a little bit of gold. I just made one little tiny row. But look at the top. It's supposed to be a sunflower, which is Ukrainian flower. I really think it's lovely. Um, I think I'm going to give this to daughter number two. She works in an animal shelter and um, goes in and out of buildings. And so I think that um, she might like that for the winter. I think that's a nice, nice pattern. Works in progress. I think three finished objects was pretty good. Let's try this one. These are my son-in-law socks. You saw this one yes, last week. Still no, so um, no heel in it. There's the first one. And I didn't put a progress keeper, but I think it was somewhere down about here. And there's the, for the heel. And I'm now working on the foot. Again, I think this is an online, inline, Activa. It's one of those sock yarns that's really hardy. Um, 75-25, I really like it. And I keep it in my little sock bag. 
this is my go-to when I'm just kind of mindless sitting, but I wanted to finish those other two objects this week, which I did. Thanks. Two more sweaters. I've made progress on both. I think the last time, I'm not sure where I was on this green sweater. This is BioBalance yarn. Let's see if I have a tag for it. Yep, I do. BioBalance. BC Garn makes it and it's 55% wool and 45% cotton. I love it. It's listed as fingering to DK. I think it's more of a sport weight myself. I don't know whether you can really see it. But I have made some progress on it. I think the last time, maybe I was working on the ribbing, the bottom. Well, that's now finished. And I've started a sleeve. Or maybe I was here. Maybe that's what that progress keeper is. So I've knit a little bit on this. Significant for a sleeve. Um, I'm one who gets stuck on Sleeve Island. Um, hate sleeves. Um, haven't figured out how to use Magic Loop Satisfactory. Um, DPNs, 9 inch, 10 inch, you name it. I haven't figured it out yet. I've tried. Uh, right now I'm using Magic Loop on this, um, or maybe even Traveling Loop by the time I get to the, the cuff. And that's how I've been doing most of my, my sweaters. But that's, that's coming along. This fabric is really wonderful. Um, if you haven't tried this yarn and you see it sometime, you might really want to try it. I really, really like it a lot. Okay, that's one work in progress. And the next work in progress is my ochre. Where's the top of it? Here you go. Here it is. It's a mustardy look to it, color. This is Swan's Island. And I'll show you a tag. So I forgot to do that last time. Swan's Island. It's 100% Rambouillet. If you're like me, and love it, the smell of sheep, oh, you're gonna love this. It's very pricey, I have to say, but my daughters gave me a gift certificate to this particular mill. This is U.S. grown, U.S. milled, U.S. dyed. They are in New England, and I'm going to say Maine. Maine, yes, Maine. Go look. They're pricey, but it's beautiful yarn. It really is. Um, if you're into the rustic yarns, this is this is to drool over. Mm. I, I know some of you get this. So I've made some progress on this. I worked some more on the ribbing. I've got about a, maybe an inch to go, I think, until I get that done. But I was listening to somebody's podcast. And I, I apologize, I don't remember whose it was. Um, but they start with sleeves after they get about half their body done they start with sleeves a lot of times they um they said it's you know a yarn management kind of thing that they don't know how much yarn they're going to have i get that but i also think it's going to help me 
get away from Sleeve Island. Now, I just started this this morning. I picked up my stitches and now I'm gonna knit my sleeves. But I really, um, I really think I'm gonna like it. It's a rustic sweater for New England. Um, we have timeshare in Rhode Island in November and it, it'll be perfect. So I'm making progress. And of course, new cast on. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's just barely started. And I'm in the middle of the row. How do you like that? Anyway, it's going to be a shawl. Some stripey stripes and the pattern is a free pattern and you can do whatever you want with it basically with colors but it's called the ex-boyfriends hi Sorry about that. Husband came home. I got relegated, booted to the back bedroom because it's March Madness. Those of you who have basketball fans in your house, you get it. It's been 48 hours or more um, of nonstop basketball. I just wanted to tell you about my new acquisition. It's BFL sock, and it's made by hip strings, and it's called COVID is a jag off. Saw the name, saw the um, company that makes it. They're a great little hand dyer group. Probably not so little anymore, um, but beautiful colors. Look at that going to make a lovely, lovely so pair of socks. Ooh, look how rich. Anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by, sticking with me. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Tell somebody else about me. And next week I'll be filming from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, it's currently started to rain outside, so I'm going to put in a little clip of that. Which, you know, you don't see rain much in the desert. Um, and I hope to see you back next week. I try to record on the weekend and get it up by Sunday night so that Monday you've got something in your queue ready to watch. Thanks again. You can find me on Instagram under recreational knitting. I don't post there as much, but I do post. I'm also on Ravelry as Sampler Gal. I will talk to you next week. And until then, knit happy. It's actually raining in Arizona. You see the water dripping off the RV? Isn't he? He's going to come over and see if you've got something good to eat. <laughs>